Um, so next we're gonna talk about right now. We got a little, you know, this is so weird and coincidental to me because it's like so we got a situation where <laughs> As y'all know, everybody you know Bow Wow Romeo used to kind of be the you know back in the day, back back in the day, they was uh, I guess you could say they were respected rappers. You know, I guess it's not wrong to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to some extent. For sure. Romeo obviously later went on to do shows and and um, like he did that show on Nickelodeon and other entrepreneur kind of things with his father Master P. Um, and then Bow Wow obviously was you know throughout his career was under the wing of JD. Uh, you know, Jermaine Dupree and stuff like that. So recently the other day, I don't know who the person was, but Master P posted some sort of um, condolence or respect to some artist that, that died. I don't, I didn't go nah, double nah, check who exactly it was. was. It wasn't, it wasn't an artist. It's a dude that died. I think he was like uh, either a dancer or something on Ellen DeGeneres oh. show, Twitch. Oh, 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 Twitch. Okay, Twitch. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Twitch, yeah. So Master P posted which, about Twitch dying. Um, as we, you may or may not know, Twitch uh, committed suicide, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Um, Master P himself and Little Romeo also, which is uh, would obviously be his sister, has a daughter who committed suicide a couple of years ago. Um, during the time period, Master P, I, from what I remember, I've seen interviews where he discussed this and talked about it and kind of got into detail about how it made him feel at the time. But um, I guess he didn't post anything. Mm-hmm. So Romeo, seeing his father post... Twitch the other day uh, got upset and I guess kind of went to the internet to reveal that they've been having a strained relationship and that his, he was kind of cr- criticizing his father for posting someone who you didn't even know personally and you didn't post your own daughter um, who also committed suicide. Um, so for a lot of people, this was was crazy to see because sorry, no one ever sorry even... To, sorry to cut you off, but use the word unalived. You know you know that that, that word uh, uh, strikes what? something. I was going to say use the word unalived. Just in case. What I say? The suey. The S word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, from what I know, oh, they, wow, they don't crazy. that that word is not allowed on on the. Oh, 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 my bad, my bad. Um, so what you said? So say yeah, what? Un- say, unalive, say, unalive. Un- unalive. That's what, that's what people. Unalive? Say. Is that even a, a freaking word? Unalive? I don't know. I'll be hearing people say it. I was like, all right, let me. Right. Not, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world of you. So Masterpiece's daughter is unalive, oh, and um, so. Yeah, so again, this was alarming to a lot of people because a lot of people didn't even know Romeo and Master P had any kind of issues or were having problems to begin with. And then around the same time, coincidentally, Jermaine Dupri was doing a podcast somewhere and mentions that he created, he basically saying, you know, which is true, that he created and, and you know, kind of guided Bow Wow's career and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Bow Wow apparently didn't like this very much, so he went on a whole rant on Instagram about, you know, basically critiquing Jermaine Dupri. And then the brat, which y'all know, some of y'all probably don't know who the brat is, but the brat I hope got on Bow Wow about. <laughs> so, I, so again, another topic we're not going to get too much into the logistics about and sit here for an hour talking about that. But <clears throat> I just wanted to get both y'all's opinion on this because it's like, do you? I'll sort of start with Don. I'll put it in question form. Like, do you think? You know, we kind of talked about this before, but someone like Bow Wow or someone like Romeo, do you feel like, particularly in Romeo's situation, do you feel like he handled that appropriately? Hell no. Nah. I see. No, I see no. when he. I see when he first uh, uh, said that. Like, okay, so you know, I feel like Bow Wow and Romeo situations aren't different. Like, you know, yeah, they're completely like, different. I was just, it was yeah, just, yeah, because yeah, they were yeah, both at the same time. It's you know. similar. It's yeah. similar, but just a little different. Yeah, level. we're completely different. Yeah. Romeo's is kind of like out of pocket like type shit like you feel me really yeah yeah i feel like his is out of first of all that's if he was mainly if it was a mainly like a family issue like and he believed that like his opinion or what he thought about his dad that definitely should not have been online especially being your your pops especially us seeing master p guide this man since he was like so young. Like little Master P, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We seen we seen what Master P did with Lil Romeo and got him in all these places. Yo, that man definitely has no no reason to open his mouth and put anything on the internet like diminishing his his father's career type shit. Like, do you think Master P had a bigger responsibility as a father to like? I guess what Romeo wanted him to do was like post the daughter more or kind of fixate on that the thing i mean uh yeah that's facts uh keeping in the fam yeah drake 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 
chimed in and said, yeah, it's fact, keeping him fan. But do I think he should have posted a daughter? So that's that's a that's a different thing. Maybe like he was really like a lot of people don't know how to disconnect social media in real life. Maybe that's something that, right. that happened in his real life. Like he probably like, yo, Boom. I'm not, I'm keeping that away from social media. I don't even want to uncomfortable, it. yeah. It's more uncomfortable. Um, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? That's his daughter, like. Like, just like, I think Master P, def Master P responded. I seen a video. He responded. He's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's Romeo's sister, but that's my daughter. Yeah. Like, I lost my daughter. Like, a lot of people don't know yeah, right. how it feels to lose a daughter. So, yeah, I wouldn't expect, I, I wouldn't, anybody that happens to, I wouldn't have any expectations to post it online or, you know what I'm saying, or not post it on Word. social media. You know what I mean? I think that's a sorry excuse saying, oh, you posted Twitch, so why didn't you post your daughter or this, that, and the other. Twitch isn't, you know what I'm saying, yeah, related man. to him. He posted Twitch to make a, a point. You know what I mean? So Right, yeah. like about that topic, I feel like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then, um, So, Clay, what you think? You think, you know, Romeo was kind of out of pocket? What do, you, what do you think? I think he was, too. I completely concur with what, what Don said. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in the fam, especially with a situation like that. And, you know, as much as, like, you know, the details or in between the lines of certain situations might hurt us the most, you really got to look at the bigger picture because just like we said, like, it could have been him posting about Twitch was his way of kind of like, you know, letting the world know that, you know what I'm saying, he's aware of, of people doing that, you know, unfortunate act and, and you know what I'm saying, and, and he's just acknowledging that, you know, and, and you could have looked at it in that sense, you know, at least my father's acknowledging something like this, but, yeah. you know, everybody nowadays, I feel like just be doing stuff for attention and, you know, at the same time, it's a cry for help, but again, keep that between you and your fam, especially that's your pops, you know what I'm saying, like, shouldn't have, that shouldn't have went online at all. Yeah. Now, I don't know if y'all, yeah. I don't know if y'all seen it uh, real quick, uh, I don't know if y'all seen it, but afterwards, Romeo even uh like kind of doubled down on his dad like not even just on that he started talking about somehow uh he he didn't make any money being little Romeo he like put yeah it's like nigga. he like bro I'm like bro but, yo he like nah like you didn't make any money being little Romeo. all right some, you didn't make any money being little Romeo your dad is probably not literally putting the money in your pocket but you clearly was reaping the benefits of what was going on. Word. You know probably saying? buying you whatever you wanted. Yeah, yeah. like, come on, bro. Oh, like, for that. We just talked about some, a daughter getting punched in the nose and smack, bro. In this situation, Master P has full rights to punch Romeo in his nose. Punch and you and smack you, bro. Like, <laughs> But it's crazy because it's like, dude, like, uh, the, the, the iron, ironic thing about both Romeo and Bow Wow is like, kind of, for better or for worse, for both of them, their prime of when they was in their prime, they were both under the age of 18. They, you could yeah. probably even say they were both under the age of 17 or 16 when they, you know, when they really started. So even legally, you, you in America, when you're making money, you that none of that money is going to go in your pocket. That's At true. least not until Word. you're 18 and you start it making goes money. Goes to your guardian whatever. until. Yeah, you know, so because when even when he was on the Nickelodeon show, I'd assume maybe he was maybe he was 18, 19 around that time. Or it had to maybe even started when he was younger. When I he was think like 16, he was. 17. I think he was close. I think he was closer to eighteen, but I don't think he was eighteen yet. Yeah. And you know by the saying? time, and even situations Logan like that, huh? I was gonna say even situations like that. Like if they know you're making a lot of money, and you want to make sure it goes directly to you, they just put it in escrow, and then when you turn eighteen, here you go. You know what I'm saying? You just don't touch it till you're eighteen. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. But you know, me personally, I would. I would trust my parents to hold on to it and be like, exactly. when I want That's something, good. you know what I'm saying? And you, you know your parents is going to help you manage your money better. You know what I'm saying? It's not really not a bad thing, especially when you're under the age. He claims, right, right, right. He, Romeo claims that his dad used his money, used whatever money to pay all, pay taxes and stuff like that. And even if, even if that is true, right? Even if that was true, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think we would know for sure. You know, like you know, how, like how much of a position Master P put Romeo in? You know what I'm saying? That's like, what I'm saying. Like, like, bro, like, like, it's, it's, right. like, bro, your at pops some point, can't work for you for free just because he's your pop. Yeah, at some point, it's Romeo's. It's gonna be Romeo's fault because you know what I'm saying. Like even getting Romeo in the USC, I believe that was straight up Master P, bro. Like that was not yeah, off of yeah, Romeo's yeah. basketball skills. Come on, bro. <laughs> like. Yeah, like bro, not for nothing, bro. I saw that that episode of MTV Cribs when we was kids. That you know, what I'm saying that house that Romeo and his his siblings was living in was not no little small house. Come and on, you nah, know, it was big chilling. 
your dad gave you you were on TV, you were on 106 in the park, you was in the music videos. You had you had a, he set them a up. childhood and something a lot of people can't say they had, man. You know what I'm saying? Like right. And I believe that once you got to the age of eight, like you cannot tell me, unless Master P was straight up just the Grinch, when Romeo even turned 18, he had had at least 10, 10 racks in his bank account for him to do what he got to do with it. You know, whether it was gifted oh, to he him. He had at least, he had at least a hundred racks. Yeah, he probably, was, I'm, probably I'm, had I'm, more, I'm but you want to, yeah, stay on the low side. The low side, he had to at least have 10 racks. At, at least. least 10 racks. <laughs> you could have, anything after that, I don't think Master P OJ, anything else. You know what I'm saying? After that. Romeo, 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 like he's tripping, bro. He has, he's out of pocket for that, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, so, what about Bow Wow? You know, Bow Wow with JD. We also that's another duo that we saw. His career was very coached and very like led by JD and and so so deaf, and um, and be and also Bow Wow's manager directly hit for his whole career was his mother. She was the one who you know did direct. Because another thing, just like with Romeo, Bow Wow's been complaining about the money thing, saying that when he was a kid, he wasn't getting none of this money. He was just like, dude, your mom was literally your manager. How, you know, like, bro. you can't blame JD <laughs> for that, bro. Like, yeah, these dudes, yeah, I don't, I don't know how these dudes getting so crazy with it. But, you know, so, so, like, I seen what Bow Wow has said off of what JD had said, right? Although, it, you know, it could have made sense. It could, like, what Bow Wow said. For from what JD did for you, bro, you should not be on yeah, the, once like, again. You should not be on the internet saying complain. like JD can get on the internet and say he created fucking the Bible. Bow Wow should not get on the internet and say no, yeah, he just didn't. don't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, stay out of that, boy. All that, all, everything that JD did for Bow Wow, bro. There's no reason he should be on the internet like saying that he didn't do, bro. Yeah, like that is yeah. crazy. Like yeah, Rachel I would said, say Bow ungrateful. Even... Yeah, he's definitely ungrateful. Yeah, he yeah. is very ungrateful. Yeah, because even more, I think even more than Romeo, he at least, even after turning 18 and becoming an adult, he had a lot of career openings and things for him to do, maybe even more than Romeo did, and he was more of like a, a household name. Sure. Um, Yeah, and I get with JD, again, I, I, I was kind of confused by JD's statement because he claims he created 106 in Park for Bow Wow, but from my understanding, JD didn't create 106 in Park, so... I'd assume what he was trying to say is that he molded 106 in Park to be the kind of show that young artists like Bow Wow and them could could excel on and like you know really showcase their talent. Yeah, yeah. I, um, from what I see, true. I think JD was kind of just flexing hard because even like the apparently the, the parent show creator he came on and said, "Yeah, JD, like our, he didn't, yeah, because yeah, like we yeah, never you're about that, but like." You know, so I think yeah, because I looked came, it up and it looked yeah. at JD's name was nowhere on anything. Yeah, else. he didn't. He probably, he probably yeah. um, and what I think what he's saying, he said he called up the dude and was like, "Hey, you know, what I'm saying I think it's a good idea to create such and such. You know, what I'm saying I got this artist that you right. know, what I'm saying because uh, you know, TR uh, MTV had TRL, BT right. don't got nothing. Let's let's get this going, and that's pretty much JD saying like he created in that route, and the actual creator's right. like, yeah, nah, that that's not necessarily how it happened. And Bow Wow was a huge part of 106 in Parks, I guess. He was. Yeah. In a way. He was. He was. But. He was because of his fan base and everything. But like, I hate when they act like just because Bow Wow had such a huge presence and like his fan base was so loyal to 106 in Park. Like, I hate that they fact they act like that. Like they made the shit. Like, yeah, I wasn't the only ones to have crazy number ones yeah. on 106 in Park. Yeah. Like. Even Lil Scrappy had a number one hit on 106 in Park that would be number one for like weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like, and that's the thing. That's that's what Bow Wow was saying. He's like, although you know, I was I was on 106 in Park heavy, and you know what I'm saying, I you know brought a lot of viewership, and I was called Mr. 106. Like, nah, I wasn't really the one who to create it like that. Or JD wasn't this, that, and the other. But I don't think Bow Wow should have even chimed in on that. Like, yeah, I think that's yeah, what the brat was kind of saying. It was like, bro, why would you yeah, even like? That was unnecessary. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let JD flex and let, you know what I'm saying, him and the creator, whatever they do with that. Like, for somebody yeah. who was made from JD, yeah, nah. But uh, it's like, why though? Like, what, like, what is what is the goal to, that, that could be accomplished by saying you created some shit? Because you ain't finna get no publishing. Yeah, like, I, don't, I don't know what like JD they, was on for that. Like, like they showing reruns for somebody to even get some publishing. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? That was you could weird. barely that was find the reruns of 106 on YouTube. Like bro just woke up and decided he wanted to flex. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like a lot of these dudes like these podcasts. Keep it hanging with currency too much. Currency that nigga too high. 
Like, look how look how Herb Gotti sold out on on Drink Champs. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what they do these days. They go on these podcasts and they just start talking and changing history. Oh yeah, you know yeah. No, nah, you know what? That's what I thought. I thought that same thing. Um, first of all, clout, like Dre said, yeah. But um, yeah, with the podcast, like podcasts like that, when you get them them dudes on, and especially when it comes to they can start getting drinks and I don't know, they just be a lot of people just really just be yeah. Because JD was drinking, right? Or you were smoking or something? I, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't watch the full thing. I just seen the snippet. Um, but they be drink, they they be they be off the shits though. Cause I remember I seen one interview with him and Bow Wow. They um I forgot what the I think it's Rory and Ma, and they interviewed him and JD at the same time. And the whole time this nigga Bow Wow was smoking, drinking henny, and this nigga JD was drinking henny. They they be off the shits. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. All right, so we'll keep up with that. We'll see what happens with Bow Wow and JD and Romeo and his pops and. Hopefully, me like especially Romeo and his pops. I hope they figure that out because you know yeah, they, they lost a daughter. Got, he lost his sister. You know what I mean? Uh, it's sad to see a, a such a, you know, they were such like a prominent father son duo in the 